Good evening, everyone. It is me, V-Dub. I have returned. I will be your steward for this evening. Today, the greatest moment of my entire life, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You join me for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and then you join me for Call of Duty Black Ops 1 five years ago. But today, we fight the battle. That is the duty. And the call. But anyway, let's start with some multiplayer, of course. I may have played this to test it out. I don't know much about Call of Duty. I don't know much about what's going on here. But we're gonna do this. I'd like to let you know that I'm currently not sponsored by Mountain Dew, Testiculitos, Mountain Doritos, or Bajitos. The sponsorships have all been dropped, and officially, I'm freelancing. If there are any type of gamer fuel companies watching, please contact my web address and offer me some kind of sponsorship deal. You'll see. I'm worthy of it. When you see my skill. When you see my skills. Up there. Look, there's my level. Where I'm pointing. That's my level. Up there. And that's... You can see. It seems we've got a number of clones of the same woman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of us are the same class. From what I've determined, and I have not played the single player, because I have not played a Call of Duty single player since the first Call of Duty, and I'm talking about the one on the Commodore 64. I have not played a single Call of Duty single player game. You're authorized to engage. So I can only assume that these are clones of super soldiers. All right, let's do this. So you'll notice one of the duty animations is you can slide. You can just slide right in for maximum defeat. Please allow me to show you a new feature of this Call of Duty. You feel so powerful. Unfortunately, you cannot jump over that specific rock. You see? Well, even super soldiers have their limits. I am a super soldier in the year 3074, apparently, and my abilities include jetpacking, long walks on the beach, and a frolic for a war zone. EK that was lag. That was lag. Plain and simple. Yeah, this new Call of Duty game, you have to keep in mind that with every iteration of Call of Duty, there will be lag upon first contact. Mm. Oh! Oh, yeah! Mm. Ah! Can't see through these sunglasses. But I vowed many years ago when I was a small infertile. Level up! I vowed never to show my true face, nor my true eyes. For the world. Unable to handle its magnitude. You would, um burst into a million flames of wetness and titty sweat. Again, this Call of Duty strikes me as a little odd. The weapons do not look realistic. I have not seen a single Iraqi or Afghanistani in this game, and I'm not really entirely sure what that's about. Instead, there's a bunch of fantasy characters running around in outlandish... in outlandish fashion, running around on walls. Using their superpowers to distract me from the true lag that I am facing right now, forever, at this instant. I'd like to inform you that I'm playing this game on the Xbox One, the only system for real gamers! And that's, uh... You wave it. Yeah! Yeah. I seem to have been shot with a lightning cannon. Dark Lord Emperor Palpatine has indeed killed me this time. But my kill streak is now ready for action. Alright, here we go. We're back in quaction. As you can see, I have a, a bow that shoots miniature nukes. Yes! See, he exploded into the into the ether. He is no longer a threat. He's been neutralized. The lag in this game is unreal. The net code needs to be secured. Treyarch. 
Your shitty pickles have been disappointing me. Guardian deployed. My testiculitos are getting cold. If you'll just give me a moment while I watch that fucker running around on a tree. Another win for the Accord, RTB. Headed to Exfil. Drinks are on me. It's a little weird. I'm not sure what's going on with this... with this whole cloning business. Been playing Call of Duty games my whole life. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these folks. Well, you see that I am the last, but that doesn't mean I'm the worst on my team. In fact, that just means that I was lagged out of a proper chance. Hey, have you heard about those new testiculitos? That's right. There's a new flavor. It's called Bullet. Bullet testiculitos. It tastes like real gunpowder. The only time that I've ever had any fun in my life is to bust some skulls. They got rid of the knife? They got rid of the knife? Outrider neutralized. The knife was my shit. It was a one-hit kill. And now I can't even do that. What is that? Is that a Metal Gear? Oh, no, 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 no. That's just a droid from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Not that I watch that shit. It's for nerds. Someone's out there. Ready to pay me back. How'd that even happen? God weapons? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a god weapon there. Back in my day, Call of Duty was about aiming your weapon front and center, point blank, into an, an opponent's cranium. Last time I played a good Call of Duty game was Call of Duty 64. At least in that game, you could lead the bayonet charge. Not even a grenade kill? <laughs> Felt my wrath. Maybe also got a little bit of the O-face. I can tell you for a fact that's not how weapons work, okay? I was in the Marines, the Merchant Marines. And I know... I don't know if you know this, but... There's gonna be a cross-promotion with the Call of Duty racing game that's coming out soon. It's called Call of Duty Cart. The product's being tied in... ...in such a way that you see the product here in the game. For example, the Iron Man Cave. I don't know if you know this, but this is where Iron Man gets his outfits, and he is able to save the world. I'd like to show you my Yoshi. This is my Yoshi figure, as you can see. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I bought it the other day, I found it on sale. One shot, one and I thought, why the fuck one not, right? You only, li you, only li you only live once, right? This looks like Jurassic World. It's another film I saw this year. I like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are pretty cool. I wish there were more marines in that film. However, I still enjoyed it. Re very realistic dinosaur action. But I'm I, I'm not entirely sure what this is doing in a Call of Duty game. I thought I was supposed to be in Iraq. I've been a loyal Call of Duty subscriber for the past 15 and a half years since Call of Duty PlayStation 1 came out. I've been a loyal subscriber to the Call of Duty model. I'm thinking about switching. This may as well be Splatoon. Used to be so fun. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance. Okay, that's much better. Overwatch KIA. Alright, this is the maximum Call of Duty experience. This new submachine gun. It's pretty fast. However, it is unable- I am unable to out-hack the hackers. The Xbox 360 hackers. I'm pretty sure what they've done is they've attached the USB dongle to the Xbox 360. I mean the Xbox One. I'm sorry, those are very different things. Apologies, Microsoft, who I am not sponsored by. They attach a USB dongle, which allows them to engage in cheap hack bullshit. As you can see by that grenade right then in there, right then in there, right then in there. Because I'm covering fire, of course. Wait, see, that's... That's how covering fire will work, my friends. That is how it will work! Target down. Alright. Let's do this shit. Some of you have pointed out over the years that I sound like a streamer called Critical. Well, I've tried hard to make my voice sound a little bit different than Critical. Unfortunately, it just seems to not be able to happen, which is a shame. 
because maybe we would have had a budding and blossoming friendship. I'd like to announce that this stream is in fact sponsored by Critical. I'd like to now reveal that I in fact have nipples. The rumor that I didn't have nipples was factually incorrect and baseless. I'm sick and tired of you internet trolls telling me that I do not have nipples. Well, we, 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 we fought. We didn't lose. We didn't win. However, I'd like to point out that even despite my losing, I am the team MVP. Very proud of myself, and I hope you are proud of these me. Upgrades, you never stood a chance. So as you can see, three of the same human being are standing in the winner circle. Again, I'm assuming it's some kind of genetic experimentation. You don't look okay. What in the name of fuck is happening? Why am I now a tentacle monster? This is just like one of my Japanese hentais. This is Call of Duty. Well, there's my knife. I guess we finally found where my knife went. 18th century fucking steampunk London city with giant tentacle squids. Oh, wait a, wait a second. We, we, we have a special, a special guest for a moment. H hang on one second. Uh, hey, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the stream with V-Dub. This is Vinny. Um, just kind of here watching from a distance, and I'd like to say that, um, what the fuck is happening, but this is better than Iraq and sand. You take that back right now. No, no, I think this is actually a little bit better right off the bat than just the previous, you know, nonsense. How dare you? How dare- That son of a bitch. I've restricted his access. He won't be joining us again today, don't worry, scrubs don't get a second chance. Jeff Goldblum, I'm not sure what's up with your commentary, man, but it sounds like you're having a lot of fun. All right, I'd just like to let you know that this is the no fun zone, and this is where the fun stops, okay? This is a serious game, this is a serious war, okay? When I was in the Merchant Marines, I had to deal with such things, such as, and that such as. And I don't appreciate you making light and having fun in a recording this studio. Well, is a good well, thing? I'm on the front line. Now we check out the single player, find out exactly what this game is about. Call of Duty style. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Now I can create a character that looks like a real manly man. Let me guess. This is a new cold war. People got shitty with each other. Enemies, a war happened, there. and I'm the only Marine that can my stop it. My character's Saeed. name will be Chuck Steak, Taken hostage by and I will be sent in to shoot people in the face with no regard After and maximum in Cairo, they may want to unscrupled. Ronnie, see you at the RP. Roger that. Did someone say RP? I know a guy who talks a lot about RPing. I still don't know if he's well, real. They're busy dealing with the Garbage truck has arrived. Now let's throw this game in the trash with the rest of the series. No, I'm just kidding. See, look, I smiled. One of the things I like about Call of Duty is when you're playing through it, you get this sense of unstoppable power. Unrequenched anger. Paid back in full to any and all soldiers. And the only way to achieve that is, of course, auto-aim. You see, in the Call of Duty series on the consoles, one of the things that happens is when you go into crosshair mode, it zooms in. So when you zoom in, you automatically lock onto the enemy. So you get a tremendous sense of power and cheapness. However, considering nothing can match the accuracy of a Wacom tablet for first-person shooters, this is a reasonable alternative to ripping your hair out of your skull 
because a controller is probably one of the most inconvenient ways to play a first-person shooter ever conceived. You know, until you get used to it. But then again, I could also get used to eating tar for a week. We're here to extract you. Shoot him! That's the enemy! Oh, no, we know Do as I him. say, and you'll make it through this. Master what about Usman and Khalil and the others? Sorry, no time. Khalil was a hero of the Cairo uprising. Oh, Minister you Saeed. You know that makes him a valuable asset for their propaganda. They will make an example of him. Fuck! All right, let's go. Yeah. You know, the world has changed in the past three years since I last streamed for you guys. Different environment here on the internet, for example. Like, did you know that pizza has become outlawed? on 15 different websites. I find that to be unacceptable. There's also this new thing called rare peepees. Now, I don't know what a rare peepee is, but I'll tell you what, I really like it. Everyone's into these things. I'm not sure if it has something to do with drugs. Oh, yes, an achievement. Yes. T achieve. That's, all, that's the only high I need. That's the only high I need, man. I don't need to do no rare peepees. I don't have a jetpack. Everyone else has a jetpack but me. Ooh, kill streak! Explosion! I am not authorized by Adam to use my jetpack techno technology. This game is supposedly set in the future, correct? Where are the lasers? Where's the plasma? Missed. Focus your fire on the VTOL! Opportunity! What's what's a VTOL? Who's Vito? Um, that truck disappeared for a moment. APC not sure. Is down. Not sure what that was about. Probably not a glitch because Treyarch has definitely got their shitty pickles together. Well, they told me to take out the thing, and then they took out the thing when they realized I wasn't fast enough or good enough to do it. I'm getting the feeling that I don't really have to do much on this level, and that. I could probably just hang back and let the squad do the work for me. Which is the mark of any good team, of course. Oh wait, no, these guys aren't wearing Iron Man armor. Never mind, I apologize. No, that guy is. If you're gonna have an army, why not put the whole squad in Iron Man exoskeleton gear? Some of these guys are walking around in tank tops. You'd, you'd think bullet sponge wouldn't be a thing, but... Well, in the future, it is. Try and keep up, all right? I got him. Hey, I got him. Give me some cover He's dead. Fire. Grenade out. Tango down. Am I in a desert? Is this Iraq? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I don't believe in a lord, but in this particular case, there is nothing better. I believe I am, in fact, in a desert. Something like that. But I'm getting tangoed. I'm getting tangoed hard. And now everything's green. Dear God, please help me. It appears I'm unable to activate my own night vision, and I'm still not authorized to use my jetpack. These are just slight distractions, because in reality, the most important element is me being able to shoot coffee mugs. Not bad. The cups have individual physics. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm ready. That itchy finger of yours is infected your ears. Hey. Fuck you. I'm oh, sorry, that was a tango. I and this is where Metal contact. Gear reveals itself, huh? Yep. Robots moving in. I deal with the robots. Pretty sure my grenade bounced off of an invisible wall, but I won't be complaining hey, about that because my bloodlust yeah. is Let's very, very filled. And you I am happy. Them out. It may not be a mission priority, but there's still people, damn it! This guy doesn't seem very engaged in this conversation. It could, in fact, be a wax figure designed to All right, scare and plan. intimidate the enemy. I will. Get on the turret. So here's this guy again, the wax figure. He's displaying no emotion or movement. Even when I protrude my leg, deep into his space. Get on! We're short on time. His personal space has been invaded, yet the he finds... window is closing. Get in! None of this interesting. Whoops.
unfortunately. It may not be a mission priority. I was a little but distracted. Still people, damn it. I am fascinated by this guy. Wow. These are decoys. Yeah, don't worry about them. We're In the future, them. you don't need well, get men. Get out of here. Go. You just need things to look like men to scare the enemy into thinking you have more men than you really do. I figured it out, guys. There we go. Torrid. Torrid attack. Some cunts are gonna get fucking destroyed. Each... Each robot will be... wrecked in a new fashion. Explosions. Bullets. Guns. 60 frames a second. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm enjoying myself. I have never felt this kind of bloodlust. So many robots are dying. However, there's no blood when you kill a robot. Despite my enjoyment, I feel slightly disappointed that I don't get to see guts and blood spill all over the place. It's not like this when I was in Martian Marines. And it was especially not like this in Call of Duty back in 1968. No, 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 fuck! No, help me. Get out of there! My team's still in No, wait, help. More NRC grunts moving in! Inbound, two minutes. Hang tight, you're not dying today. What do you mean I'm not dying today? A robot has crushed my testicles. Oh, well, guess I didn't need that. Or that. Or my life. Be all right. Just hang in there. Hey, he said I'm gonna be all right, guys. Gone, gone, gone. Leg is completely broken, and I've been punched by a robot in the stomach more times than I can count. My internal organs have reached a gelatinous mass. But I think that guy knows what he's talking about. Where am Call I? of Duty, surely a weird it's experience. Okay. Calm down. Just relax. I know what's happening. You're this fine. is the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Yeah, He's gonna have this. prosthetics. There's gonna be a whale. Yeah, gonna Ocelot's gonna take him to Iraq. Yes! Iraq! I mean, Afghanistan. No, same thing. You are now the ultimate killing machine. We've given you fist dildos. Big spiked fist dildos. Enjoy them. I saw this on a Star Trek episode. We're on the hollow deck. None of it's real. Don't worry. 731 a.m. A terrorist group. Go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. I'm ready to use my Metal Gear skills. Okay. So am I in the past or am I in my brain? It doesn't matter because I still get to fight. Flanking right. As long as I'm able to shoot. One route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Did you know that you can go left or right sometimes? Because that's that's fucking mind-blowing information for me. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battle. Switch it to tactical, like opening your eyes for the first time. So, the way this thing helps me is that I'm able to see red lines on the floor to the point where it distracts me enough. Right. To kill me never just one route. because of lag. Single-player lag. You'd think they would be able to fix that by now, but nope. How many years has it been, and we're still getting lag in single-player? I don't care how much new shit you give me, I'm still shooting people in the head. And that's all I care about. I, V-Dub, vow never to play this game again if I keep dying. In fact, I've quite had enough of this. We need to go back to multiplayer, and I need to get me another another kill streak.